You know, to me, this situation with Naomi Osaka is just another example of white supremacy at its finest. And I don't mean that in a comp uh, complimentary way. If you guys don't know who Naomi Osaka is, she came to critical and, you know, I would say celebrity statushood when she beat Serena Williams a couple of years ago. And ever since then, she has gone on to become the number two best in the world at tennis. And that is a big, big fucking deal. So when she decided to participate in the French Open this year of 2021 and decided that she wouldn't speak to the press because she has depression and social anxiety issues, she's basically a very shy girl and wants to be very private with her life for, most part, for the most part. The white supremacists that are behind the board of that uh, tennis association, they decided to fine her $15,000 fucking dollars because she didn't want to speak to the journalists out there. Sounds like a bunch of crybabies getting mad because they can't get their fucking way. And I, you know, even though Naomi Osaka is biracial, you know, I stand behind her on this because she left with her dignity she left with her head high. She decided that she was going to say, fuck this. I don't know if she actually said that, but she said she's just going to withdraw from the tournament. They're still talking about they're going to punish her further. They might, they might make it that she doesn't participate in any other tournaments. These motherfuckers are going this hard because a girl didn't want to speak to the press. Are you kidding me? This is pathetic, ladies and gentlemen. It just shows how these people say, I'm white and I say so, and you better do what I say. And if you don't, there are going to be penalties. And I guess she's going to just deal with the penalties. But I applaud her for holding her head high and just walking the fuck off this bullshit. She's got a boyfriend that really cares about her and always, you know, he always cheers her on. His name is Corday. I believe he's a rapper. He's kind of shy to himself. I remember seeing this video on GQ. This is a screenshot of it with her and her boyfriend, Corday. I don't know if he's biracial as well. But seeing them together, I see two people in love with each other and they really care about each other. And I like seeing stuff like that. And uh, he really does support her. So I'm pretty sure in this emotional time she's going through, he's there for her. You know, I look at it like this. The girl wasn't ready for fame. She rose to fame fast by beating a professional that was years older than her and more experienced than her. But she is doing what she loves. She loves tennis. That's the sport she chose to love. That's the sport she chose to play. She's doing it because she loves it. I don't think she ever wanted the fame. She just wanted to be the best she could be. But coming with that and you're in the public eye, you're going to be asked a lot of questions. People are going to try to pry into your private life. And I know she doesn't really like that, I'm pretty sure, because she says she has social anxiety and she also suffers from depression. Now... I'm pretty sure this guy's going to be there for her to make sure that she's okay because he's not one of these other clowns you'd see. He looks like, from what I'm seeing, from even when they show other videos of him, he supports her all the time. He does the best he can to be a good boyfriend and support her from the sidelines, cheering her on every time, every chance he gets. Um, like I said, this is just white supremacy showing its bullshit again, saying, oh, if you don't do what I say, I'm going to punish you. She doesn't give a fuck, I don't think, because she says she's taking time off. She wants to live her life for a little while and then return to the sport, you know, so she's just going to have pretty much a vacation from this nonsense right now. And she didn't want the speculation or I should she didn't want the she didn't want not the speculation, but she didn't want all this attention to be about her. She wanted it to be about the French Open because those people that are participating, they deserve to get their shot in her words. So she didn't want the pressure of that, you know, overshadowing what was going on when it came to the actual tournament. So she decided to go. And I'm I'm right behind her because if they decide that they want to find me because I don't want to speak to the press, you don't know what the fuck I'm going through. You don't know if I had a bad day or someone in my family died. If someone in my family died, I need to talk to you about it. No, I don't have to do a fucking thing. And for the fact that they want to find her fifteen thousand fucking dollars for not talking to journalists is absolutely ridiculous and absurd. It is. But. I support this girl. I stand 100% with her. She did the right fucking thing as far as I'm concerned. And this is sad, but this is what white supremacy does.